freaking couch. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog and to this incredibly awesome day. Lori's off on her quilting retreat. Hi, uh, welcome to Quilting with Will. For the next couple days, which means that me and Noah are in charge of the shop, which is pretty scary to think of. And I'm pretty excited today. We're gonna actually give Karma a huge makeover. So you guys are about to see what it's like to just give Karma a condominium of awesomeness. I hope so anyways. But first I have to edit the vlog and I have to probably answer the phone all morning because Laura's not here to answer the phone. So that ought to be interesting. <phone rings> Hello, Domino's Pizza. Hello, we be snakes and stuff. <phone rings> Good morning, doggy style dog grooming. Stiff nipples, air conditioning, dicks plowing. One in a million Spanish speaking classes. <phone rings> Hello, walk and roll, Asian cooking, budget burial, deeper and cheaper, curl up and die hair saloon. So guess what guys, I am saved from the office answering the phones for the day because the wonderful, the amazing Steph is here today. Oh, look at that, she's got the Bob Ross. I love that shirt. I actually have that shirt. Did I you know, know that? You know, I, <laughs> I love that shirt. So Steph uh, isn't always in the office. She works kind of remotely, but she is still a huge intricate part of things here. And thankfully, thank you Steph for coming. She can now take over my responsibilities up front so I can get on to my next project, which I am excited about because Jessica here came up with this amazing idea to start to revamp some of the cool animals that we have. So today, Karma is getting a remakeover and we're gonna bring you guys on it. Jessica went on a shopping spree last night, bought some plants, bought some stuff, bought some vines, and we're gonna remake Karma's home. After we're done with that, over the next, well, I have to travel, but when I get back from traveling, we're gonna do uh, Fetty Wap's Bearded Dragon Cage, and then we're gonna set up some cages for the Emerald Tree Boas. So we are excited to start having some really cool displays, and this will give us a little bit of an insight into how the zoo will work, because these are gonna be really nice setups in the zoo, of course, and we're gonna get to play with them a little bit. Anyways, regardless, let's get Karma a new home. All right, so we're off to go get Karma and bring Karma. And by the way, Karma's coming upstairs, staying upstairs. So all these display animals are actually gonna stay upstairs with us. It's gonna be cool because our front office is gonna start to look like a little display area. We are excited about it. And I know, oh, Karma, you're shedding. Look at him, he looks so terrible. Whoa. <laughs> Don't look, guys, he's half naked. Oh my gosh, he looked so beautiful just yesterday. Oh. Okay, all right, so we're gonna bring him up. We're gonna set him up on a vine so he can just kind of crawl around while we redo his cage. Obviously, we have to get Karma out of his cage so that we can redo it. We're gonna go ahead and wash them all up. Again, these are non-toxic plants. We have a couple of them. And then we have these white chips that we're gonna wash up really good because sometimes uh, chameleons can eat soil and we just wanna kinda cover that up so he doesn't eat it uh, and make it as good. And then we're gonna put tons of foliage. We're gonna put branches. We're gonna make this thing tricked out and look awesome. And Karma is gonna love it. I am so excited for him. Regardless, let's go ahead and get him out. Oh, Karma. You look so sheddy. There you go, bud. He's like, Daddy, I don't want to go down. What you doing, Karma? You're going to get a new cage today and you're going to love it, Karma. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. I just love this guy to death. Okay, Karma, you hang out here, all right? All right. So I found a spot for Karma. He's going to be happy for the next, you know, probably half hour, 45 minutes while we redo his cage. We're going to clean this up. First. And then the bottom is going to just be paper? Yeah. It'll be easiest to clean that way. Okay. Yep. The plants and stuff will provide enough humidity so it doesn't have to have all this moss in the bottom. They build a structure too in there with the bamboo so we can climb around. So yeah, so basically there's going to be lots of bamboo. It's going to be sterile as far as easy to clean. Lots of plants and foliage for him to feel happy about. He's got some new lighting. Should be all set. So yeah. uh, this should be awesome. I'm excited. And we get to see him every day, which is awesome too. Really, Jessica is the person that is running the show here. I'm just doing what she tells me. And I'm being told to make a cage within a cage of bamboo. So I've got to make kind of a, a structure uh, of bamboo that I can put in there that has different levels for karma to continue to crawl on. Um, so that's what I need to do while they're doing their thing, whatever that is. Andrew, that poor plant, what are you doing? You'll see when it's done, I guess. 
<laughs> she's she, she's breaking up the plants so that I don't they have a plan I don't know what it is I'm just going along with it. oh so you're actually planting them into smaller plants yes ah little pots look at this Jessica has such a plan so I'm in the process of trying to create a jungle gym for karma but uh I don't know how this is gonna turn out I'm gonna do my best So basically, Jessica just said that, I said, well, how are you guys coming over here? And she said, well, we're waiting on you guys. So obviously we're the, we're the, we're the clog in the wheel that's not working. But no, Andrea is, is not, Andrea's the problem. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. It's I have, all Andrea's fault, all Andrea's it's a, fault. It's 100% Andrea's fault. But they have a big plant in there right now. That's, so that's all you guys did. You guys were over there building the Taj Mahal. And you guys just put a plant in there? No wonder why you're waiting on us. You left the hard stuff to you. Yeah, I've got a hanging plant. Oh, look at that. Oh, these guys are good. All right, back to the Taj Mahal. The box is complete, guys. So essentially what's going to happen here is we're just going to build some kind of layers on here. That way he can kind of climb up, climb around. We can also hang some plants from it, and it should be awesome. So we have a little bit more construction to do here to build this out. We're on our way. Almost done with the little chameleon jungle gym. We're gonna put one more brace across and then that'll be his jungle gym. And then of course, we'll put a bunch of bendable vines all throughout it as well, as well as the plants. So the plants are gonna obviously, you really can't climb on the plants because they're gonna be too flimsy, but he can climb, you know, this way, he can climb up this way, that way, you know, cross, do whatever. And of course, the little vines he'll be able to climb on too. So uh, almost done. Beautiful. Okay. All right, finished. Let's go ahead and uh, get this in the cage and then we can start to put the vines in there. All right, so, so things are absolutely coming together. It's looking good. They are doing some vine work right now. It's looking good, guys. I'm gonna let them take this for a little while, but uh, I'm super excited. Karma is gonna love this music, and it's gonna be cool that he's gonna be right here in our room. We'll be able to see him all the time, so this is coming together really well. There it is, guys. Karma's new home. I mean, that is awesome. It looks so good, huh? You guys did awesome. That was great work, you two. It was awesome. What do you say we put Karma in? See how he likes it. There's Andrea. Good job. Way to go. Come on, Karma. I know we could just leave them out. Karma, are you ready for your new home? There you go, Karma. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. What do you think? That's awesome, man. That is so cool. How cool is that, man? That is so awesome. I can't wait to come back and check him in like an hour and just see how he, because right now he's just kind of freaked out. Like, what is going on? What's all this new stuff? But then he's going to start exploring. He's going to feel more comfortable. And with all that foliage and all the opportunity for him to climb all over the place, I mean, he is just going to be in heaven. Jessica, this was such a great idea. You did such a good job. And you, all all you guys, even you, Bruce over there, he's the, he was, he was the electrician. <laughs> no, good job, guys. Way to go. High five, virtual high five. So Karma's been in here for about an hour. I'm gonna come back and kind of check on him and give you guys the kind of complete rundown now that everything is set in the cage. So, okay, so we have just some new lighting that we bought just to make sure it was an old UVB bulb. So we figured we'd get a new one so that we make sure that he's giving a lot of UVB. We obviously made this whole apparatus here so that he can climb up here, here, across here, all the way up the vines, everything else. We put these plants in here. And of course, in the plants, you can see that there's actual stones and that's just so that he doesn't eat any of the soil. I mean, it's it's organic soil, but you never know if there's any kind of fertile. It's not supposed to have anything in it, but you just never know. So we have the stones in there just to make sure that he doesn't eat any of the soil. Uh, he has plenty of foliage to keep himself really happy. Again, he can climb up near the hot spot right here if he wants to get really warm, or he can come down here and stay away from the hot spot. And of course, we have our automatic watering system here where we have one sprayer here and one sprayer on the other side, and that goes off every 
30 minutes and it stays on for one minute of spraying. So I tell you what, he is perfectly happy. Look at, I mean, he's shedding right now, so he looks a little bit goofy, but look at how, you know, he looks really happy. I mean, you can always tell a chameleon when its colors are bright and it, its eyes are really open. I mean, he seems really happy in this environment. So I could not be happier at the fact that Karma has this great spot. And now he's right up in front in our office area so we can see him every single day and spend time with him. Next up is a redo for Fetty Wap, the Bearded Dragon. We're gonna redo a big 40 gallon with a bunch of really cool sculptures in it, uh, rock backgrounds, hide boxes, basking spots. We're really excited about that. And then once we get that done, we're gonna go on and do the Emerald Tree Boas. And you know, I think I'm kind of addicted to this kind of cool naturalistic setup, you know? Uh, not that I'm against keeping things a little bit plain and simple, but I'm really digging this. So I think we're probably, once we get done with that, we'll have a next project. And uh, again, this is great. Uh, kind of practice for the zoo because not that you would have cages like this in the zoo because we're gonna have even more naturalistic settings in that type of environment but this gives us just a little bit of a practice as well as hey how is karma doing how does he like it what is he like does he like climbing up high or lower we'll learn a lot about how to set things up so that these animals are really happy and healthy so anyways I thought you guys would enjoy the setup for today again probably about a week and a half from now we'll do our next setup because I've got to travel first but as soon as I'm back hitting Fetty Wap the bearded dragon setup so there you go if you guys don't know, Karma is actually really named Karma 5 for that song from the 80s that was Karma, 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 Chameleon. Karma, 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 Chameleon. And of course, that's why it's Karma 5. It's just really cool to see him kind of in a new environment to see what he's going to look like. I'm really excited about that. And uh, again, I'm excited about the other things that we're going to do with some of the other animals that we have. Regardless, I'm going to head home, see what's Noah doing because Lori is out on her quilting retreat and we are... We don't have Lori to kind of guide us. So anyways, we're going to go check things out. Hopefully, we'll go to the movies tonight. If not, we'll hang out and do something else. Regardless, I'm out of here for the day, and that's it. So on my way home. So here's the deal. Lori is out of town, which means that me and Noah can basically do anything we want because she's not here to stop us. And we thought that we... <laughs> We thought that a good idea would be to grab this couch right here and drag it over to here so that we could see if we can jump like off the landing of the stairs onto the couch. Uh, I, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. You, you, you down for this? All right, you going first? I think. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you doing? More pillows? No, you don't need no pillows. Get up there and jump. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. Whoa. laughs> is it cool? Yeah, but we need to do something better. Why? Something scarier. Well, like what? Jump. Can't jump off. There's no way we're jumping off of there until the couch will die. You're out of your mind. Hang on, I want to try this. Ah. Yeah, then we gotta do something more than that. I know, it's not that exciting. What can we do? How about if we put a chair up there and jump oh. off the chair? Oh, okay. oh. Huh? All right. <laughs> That's quite a bit higher. It's a lot higher, <laughs> a lot further up. I'm gonna go for the Right? Yeah. Oh! Oh, I think I might have broke the couch. I called it. Oh, crap. Good I knew. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Kill yourself. Oh man, this is this is crazy. <laughs> Should I do a cannonball? I don't know, don't break the couch, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> this is crazy. Through the vlog! Oh, oh my god, that one could have been bad! <laughs> oh, holy cow! <laughs> I felt my death like when I was like right here, I thought my head was gonna wail against that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hope Lori doesn't watch this vlog because if she does, she's gonna absolutely kill us. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh! What was that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna smash this wall. Huh? You need to do a flip. No way, it's a couch. <laughs> <laughs> like we had a trampoline. <laughs> Get it! Oh! Man, ah. that totally... We broke the freaking couch, dude. Holy crap. Ah, Look arm. at the couch, it's freaking broke. 
<laughs> Holy you work on the couch, my arm kills. Oh, okay. Ah, my arm. Oh. Oh. Is your arm okay? Yeah, your arm's the desk fine. broken. My arm hit the head. Oh, <laughs> man, your mom's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Not if she doesn't notice. Oh my ah. gosh. All right, guys, we're done. <laughs> oh. oh, we are so much trouble. Oh my god. No, we are gonna be dead. I'm not even kidding you. Your mom's gonna be so freaking mad. She doesn't watch this vlog. Okay, guys, no one tell Lori that this happened. Oh my god, now I'm a little bit pissed. This one turned into horror. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, I am in big trouble. Do me a favor down in the comments, tell me what I can do to try to fix this, because Lori is going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I'm shutting it down to try to see if I can fix this couch, because if I can't, I am dead, dead, dead. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog with Karma, and with all the stuff that we had going on. We have some amazing things coming up. Two more days before I travel to Florida, and it's going to be absolutely epic. Again, thank you guys for all your support. Make sure to smash that like button because I'm about to die because I broke my couch. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell. Be kind to somebody. I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.